When you purchase a new MacBook, you undoubtedly have a computer ready to use, but the default settings make it a bit too standard for my taste. In this video, I want to show you an optimal configuration to make it more useful and performant through some advanced settings. Firstly, I start by customizing the screen workspace. It's definitely a subjective change that depends on individual preferences, and I personally adopt two settings. For simple reading, relaxation, or browsing, I lower the resolution, enlarging the text and bar size in the accessibility settings. This helps me have a more comfortable and immersive reading experience without losing details. When I need a larger workspace during productive phases, I recommend increasing the resolution. This significantly expands the available space, making window management easier and improving the speed of viewing, reading, and scrolling through any content. As a second step, we can't overlook the importance of wallpapers to make our desktop more comfortable and personal. Apple provides fantastic options with default wallpapers, and with the Sonoma update, new ones have been introduced. I even dedicated an entire video to the new features of this update, and for those interested, I'll leave it at the end of the video. However, if you want to explore further, you can opt for external apps that offer a wide selection of wallpapers. Additionally, apart from static wallpapers, we also have the option to use dynamic wallpapers in animated, naturalistic, or any other style of your interest or preference. In this regard, there are various apps in the App Store offering an infinity of wallpapers, some of which are completely free. To further optimize the user experience and maintain maximum concentration, I pay special attention to the now integrated widgets in the system to be placed directly on the desktop. These not only provide useful information such as the calendar, clock, and weather, but also offer the convenience of not having to search for such information elsewhere, like on the iPhone, as we can have them directly on the screen. Imagine wanting to turn off the lights at home or wanting to be informed in real time about your favorite shopping deals. This not only saves you time, but also allows you to have fewer distractions and stay more focused on work. Because, as we know, when you pick up the phone, minutes magically fly by. And speaking of minimizing distractions, another good configuration involves the use of web apps, allowing you to add websites to the dock as if they were applications. This simplifies things for you as it enables quick access to any website, such as Instagram or Netflix, without having to go through a search engine. Additionally, retime notifications are received. Another relevant setting, especially for those transitioning from the Windows world like myself, might notice a difference in window management on the screen. The Mac with its interface offers less customization space in dividing the screen between windows. Here comes the app called Rectangulo to the rescue, effectively replicating Windows-like functions. It provides greater control over settings and eases window division and resizing. You can create keyboard shortcuts to invoke resizing or simply drag and drop windows to the edges or corners of the screen. They automatically snap and take the set shape, whether it's full screen or resizing windows to your liking, like to the right or left. I believe it's a fast and efficient way to manage the screen layout and work comfortably in multitasking, having the necessary tabs overlaid according to our needs. Another setting I found particularly useful is the use of active corners. This function allows you to assign specific actions to the corners of the screen. I often use the window action, allowing me to easily drag files from the desktop to a folder or quickly and conveniently send them as a message simply by touching a corner. In addition to this option, there are others available such as activating the screensaver or putting the monitor on standby. To activate them, just go to the desktop and dock and select active corners at the bottom. Speaking of screensavers, as mentioned earlier, Apple has introduced new slow-motion screensavers, a kind of panoramic video. These showcase panoramas from around the world, including natural landscapes, urban environments, underwater scenes, or Earth, and each of them is in high quality. Moreover, if you're undecided about which one to choose or want to change them without getting bored, you can set them to rotate automatically, ensuring you always have something different and new to admire. As a final recommendation for your configuration, I want to add a very effective and free application that allows you to monitor your operating system in real time. Thanks to this app, you can keep an eye on your MacBook's temperatures, check RAM usage, and monitor processor activity. This not only helps you fully understand your MacBook's activities, but also gives you the ability to assess whether you can push the limits in your work operations or if you need to slow down. 
It's an effective way to optimize your device's performance and ensure you always have everything under control. All right, these are currently the main configurations I use, helping me use my MacBook in the most efficient and personalized way. What about you? What configurations do you use and do you have any suggestions? And with that, we conclude this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a free like and subscribe to the channel for future tech updates. Until next time.